So what is up YouTube? It is Razor Rico again with another video. But instead of a haircut video today, we are going to be doing a uh, barber station tutorial. Um I mean, I've kind of been inspired by other YouTubers to kind of do this, so I figured it was my turn now to make a barber tutorial about my setup. So hopefully you guys like it. Please like and subscribe, share the video. Leave any comments down below on what I should improve, quality of video, etc. What else I should do. Some video ideas. But um, yeah, so please leave a like down below, comment. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. If you come down to my basement to uh, get a haircut. So I'm going to start off with the basics. Of course, the barber chair. This barber chair I really like. I mean, it leans back, everything. Um, two ring lights, the exact same brand. I think the brand is, as you can see right there, newer. It's pretty good, can't complain. Um, now on this side over here, I got my paper towels, prices, mints, some complimentary mints. Some extra waters, though are, those I do not suggest to drink. Those I do put in there so I could get the client's hair wet. And right here, of course, got to have the neck strips. Sanitation is key when it comes to a barber. Business cards per usual. And this little air compressor is a game changer. It, I usually use that at the end of my haircuts just to dust down clients from excess hair and whatnot. And uh, so now we move over here to my main area. I got all sorts of clippers, trimmers, shavers, and all that. So let's start off with point one. So right here, I do have a Babyliss Clipper over comb. Uh, I really like this one, it's red. It kind of pops out whenever I, I do need it. Combs, I really like the YS Park combs. These are super good to part hair, especially this side. I mean, it's just so easy to part the hair. These duck clips, I like them just because they keep the hair like really, it doesn't move. When, once you put these duck clips, the hair will not move. And uh, I used to have, I used to use a lot of these duck clips right here, but they're not my go-tos anymore. I mean, I like these, they're smaller, easier to grab the hair with. Now moving on to the razor holder. I really enjoy using the fake on the brand right there, fake on razor holder with the fake on blades. Also do like the derby blades, but uh, it really all is the same thing. And then this is a taper comb. I'm not too sure if you guys are familiar with combs. This is an all purpose comb right here. And this is a taper comb. And you can tell the difference because it gets thicker to smaller, thicker this side, smaller this side, taper comb. Over here, I do have my stringent. I like to use the Clubman and the Osage together. Kind of makes it light green. Styling powder, level three, my go-to. I also tried the Tomb 45 styling powder. That's all right, can't complain. Um, kind of gets clogged every now and then. That's why I had to go back to a level three styling powder. Fiber wax, this is what I use personally on my hair. Um, which got back from the gym, so it's not really done right now. Um, so yeah, fiber wax. I put this for like comb overs and whatnot. I normally put this for like fringes and the leave-in conditioner. I normally put this on my curly, curly clients, curly headed clients. And I mean, it smells amazing. They love it. So I love it right here. Kitty kitty. Um, it just helps with bumps and whatnot. Scalp treatment as it says right there, scalp and skin treatment. Um, you know, gotta have this just in case for razor bumps. Now on this side, this is kind of like my olive above side. Got the save gel right there, the nick relief. Gotta have this, man. Uh, especially for the up and coming barbers. This is really important, nick relief. If you ever do cut somebody, slap this on someone, boom, the cut will stop bleeding. 
Now right here, I do have my extra guards. Um, I got Yinky guards, which are basically like wall guards. So I got my style Stylecraft guards, all white ones. I love how these look. And then of course, as a licensed professional, you gotta have this sharps container. I mean, got the lid right there, but it's easier to drop it. Just boop. So um, now down here, got my extra Andis Master Guards. I don't use that. I kind of use it for detailing, but guards there just in case. Extra combs, one comb per client. Sanitation is key. Uh, these these are kind of like my dust off um type of brushes i never use these on clients as you can tell it's disgusting how it looks right now i normally like wipe this and wipe down my chair and whatnot just get every little crevice of course the oil gotta have that extra brushes money change for clients if they ever need it extra brushes right there uh change again duck clips extra duck clips and all that Enhancements, I don't necessarily like using enhancements as you could tell. I mean, I've had these for maybe over a year now. Haven't even opened it, it's probably not good anymore. But hey, I'll give it a shot someday whenever I do use it. And of course, for my coarse hair clients, got the pick, got the brush, got the sponge, gotta get them right. Of course, the shears, can never forget them. I love these. Jason shears. I don't know if you guys know, but this is really how you hold shears. It's like that. It's flip. Boom. Flip. Boom. So I use Jason shears. I mean, these are some cheap ones off Amazon. Not necessarily cheap, maybe 30 bucks a piece. Doesn't work. Had them for a little under a year. Haven't sharpened them once, but they cut like butter, man. Love this brand. So um, now over here, thinning shears, same thing, same brand. I mean, love them. I have two and forty-five adapters. These go on my Ergos, which I'll get here in a moment. These into here, wireless charging onto the pads. Got the Senior and the Andis GTX right there. And now this is just all wireless charging. I mean, I like I hate cords, so I like wireless stuff a lot better. Enhancements, like I said, don't really use them. Got the black, got the medium brown. The enhancement gone, works and everything. Uh, probably used it once in my life, to be honest. Got the headlight over there, as you can see right there. The facial, facial machine. I also do facials as well. Uh, not very much people know about it, but I mean, I obviously do service them because i learned them in barber school and of course the mirror um now getting on to what i use on a daily basis i'm gonna start off with the clippers and trimmers and shavers um so right here got the instinct so funny thing is that i use a clipper each guard just to make the time pass a little faster I still do use Cool Care every single time. New client sanitation is key. Same with the barber side. Same with the barber side right there. So I'm back again with the clippers. Stylecraft Instinct Clipper. Uh, clipper no guard. Like I said, clipper each guard. Gamma Ergo half guard. Uh, Stylecraft Rebel one guard. Gamma Boosted, one and a half. Uh, Wall Senior, two guard. The Pissed Off Barber, basically Ergo, um, four guard. So when it comes to shavers, I do have the UV Babeless shavers. Self sanitation, sanitation's key. Gotta protect the clients. Sanitation's key, did not light up, but. There we go. Brushes per usual. Fading brush. Pissed off barber shave or er, shaver. This one kind of gets like the small areas, kind of like above the mustache and whatnot. Low tapers. My favorite trimmers of all time, the Saber Stylecraft with the gold blade. The gold blade is the best blade. Argue with me. I don't care. This is the best blade. 
Starcraft Saber, but in black, gold blade per usual. And of course, gold blades are always the best blades. It's got the snap FX with the gold FX blade. So yeah, I use uh I normally use as you can tell right here, six clippers, three trimmers, three shavers. These are kind of like my backups just in case. And this GTX and this Masters. More of detailing just because the taper blade. This one's is really good for mustache, honestly, but these are my go-to for mustaches. So this is my soft trimmer right here. Soft trimmer, hard trimmer, lineups and designs. Kind of these two are both of my hard trimmers, but this is my soft one mainly. So now on to over here, got the towels per usual, got the gloves per usual. Sanitation is key. New towel every client. Sanitation is key. Got the cool care. Almost out, but over there, I'll show you guys in a bit. I, I'm stocked and loaded. The water, this is the continuous spray bottle. So it's only eight bucks at Walmart. Recommend that. Of course, the hairspray. Gotta have the hairspray. Got to, got to. For front lineups and whatnot. I do have three neck dusters. I mean, neck dusters aren't necessarily neat or they're not necessarily. Um, advised by barbers but i like to use three just in case i mean let's say this one falls on the floor just put it to the side wash it later but i still got two to use uh just like i said sanitation purposes now i got the talc this kind of helps with getting all the little micro hairs off your neck and whatnot and your hair and of course the oil sheen just smells good makes your hair brighter um yeah Charging stands. Uh, this trimmer currently does not work, sadly. Just hit up Sourcraft to uh, see what's up. Does not turn on or anything. But like I said, I love wireless charging. I hate cords, as you can tell right here. It's kind of a mess right there. And I got the wireless blow dryer right here. It's not bad. I mean, warms up pretty well not too bad not too shabby and uh now over here to the extras so now right there was the main area like i said barber chair mirror and all that bada boom bada bang over here got the hot towels hot towel warmer matter of fact just in case for facials wet shaves etc facial equipment got got a little bit of everything those go into that little machine over there. Um, got the toner, the black mask, moisturizer, got everything. Q-tips and whatnot, extra towels per usual. I am stocked and loaded in here. Extra facial stuff, it's kind of just extra facial. I mean, I like to try to stay organized. Extra blades, extra shave gel, got a little bit of everything. Cleaning supplies. Some Windex, some Lysol wipes, some extra gloves. You know, um, when it comes to cleaning your stuff, it's really important as a barber just because, I mean, sanitation is key. A ringworm could get passed around. Um, all types of stuff. So it's better to, it's better to over clean than under clean, if that makes sense. But um, now over here to the cool care, like I said, I'm stocked and loaded. I have plenty. Barber side, I got the barber side over here. Take it out. The barber side, got two jugs, two big jugs. Cool Care Plus is what kind of cleans your clippers and whatnot. And um, over here, got extra enhancements and powder stuff. Aftershave, locked and loaded, per usual. Extra neck strips right there. Extra brushes and neck dusters right there. And of course, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, try to pray every day. You know, God is good. So yeah, and uh, over here, it's just kind of extra stuff. I mean, stuff I don't really use, extra, extra outlets and whatnot, Ozium for my candles to light them up extra water bottle extra chargers 
extra guards. Got a little bit of everything. Of course, the broom, the child seat. Recommend that, man. That's a big game changer. Or else your back is gonna hurt like a mother. Got the got the vacuum right here. The charger up there. The extra stuff. This is the heater. The brown one's the heater. The white one's like a fan. My mini fridge, as you can tell right here. Licensed. My license is coming in through the mail, but as you can tell right there, 1,500 hours completed. Got the mini fridge. Don't got much in it. I really need to restock. But either way, I mean, that passive income hitting differently. So yeah, um... I don't think I'm missing anything else. I mean, of course, got the humidifier right here. Got the Virgin Mary per usual. I'm a Catholic, so. Got an extra fan just in case. Got some weights. Got the couch. It's a really comfy couch, matter of fact, so. But yeah, guys, so this is the Barber Station 2023 as a 19-year-old barber, licensed barber. So, hopefully you guys like the video. So, hopefully you guys like the video. I mean, um, this is only my third, maybe second video on the channel. So, I'm going to uprise right now. I mean, we all started at one point. So, hopefully you guys like and follow. Um, if you guys don't, it's all good. I mean, yeah. I mean, just got to keep on hustling. So, so, yeah, guys. If you guys could leave a like. Leave a comment down below what the next video should be. And um, yeah, hopefully guys you guys hopefully you guys share the video. But either way, I'll see you guys to the next one. Peace.